Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. Do you want to know why your ex is breadcrumbing you? Or for that matter, why anyone breadcrumbs anyone? Well, you're not going to like the answer. But as usual, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. So stay tuned. But first, I want to welcome back my no contact army. Have you been a good little soldier or a bad little soldier? And if you're a good little soldier, then you have downloaded our app Silencio. The link is below every single video and podcast, and you're using it to help you stay in no contact. And if you too would like to join our no contact army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. So that concludes the video portion and now stay tuned for the audio portion and I will see you next week. Okay, let's talk about breadcrumbing. So first I'm going to give you the definition, then we'll talk about the signs that you're being breadcrumbed, and then we will talk about the reasons for the breadcrumbing. So according to verywellmind.com, they say, quote, breadcrumbing means someone leads another person on by dropping small tidbits of interest, such as social media interactions, occasional messages, or brief phone calls. These interactions are intended to suggest that the person is still interested, but they occur sporadically and there are generally no intention of following through." End quote. So breadcrumbing is harmful because it gives you the false hope that they may still be interested in getting back together at the time when you're most vulnerable. When you hear from your ex, in the back of your mind you always think, well maybe this time they'll finally tell me that they want to get back together, but that is rarely the case, unfortunately. So, signs that you are being breadcrumbed. If you are in contact with your ex for whatever reason, they talk about meeting up, but it never happens. Or they contact you, but they never want to meet up. I've been talking to a guy for a while now, and we still have not gotten together. Somehow something always comes up. So, I have given up on him because if someone wants to see you, it's not that hard. It shouldn't be that hard, right? They will find a way. Another sign is micro communication and it means exactly what you think it means. That means minimal communication here and there. So it's enough to keep you hopeful. You know, they dangle the carrot and um, it seems that they're interested, but they're really not putting a lot of effort in on their part. And this, this would be things like liking posts or stories commenting or reacting to posts or stories, asking how you are or something similar, and then when you answer, they disappear. And this is similar to hot and cold behavior, otherwise known as mixed signals. So one day they seem really interested, they give you a lot of attention, they even talk to you on the phone for an hour, two hours, whatever, and then the next day they act like they don't have time for you, or they take hours to respond, or days to respond, that is not normal behavior, okay? People have their phones on them all the time. If they wanted to respond, they would. Or they may ask you a question that they could have easily found the answer to themselves on Google, and this seems to happen a lot. So they're not trying to find the name of the restaurant that you guys once went to, okay? They want to see if you're going to respond. And I actually once did the opposite of this with the guy who broke up with me, the one that I did the whole video on called My Breakup. This was several months later and we had uh, drank a wine when we were together and I legitimately wanted to know the name of that wine. I couldn't remember. So I think he had already contacted me. I don't remember. But anyways, I texted him and I said, hey, what's the name of that wine? Which seems like a breadcrumb, right? Seems like an excuse to get in contact. And then he told me and then he said, oh, are you having someone over tonight? That didn't even cross my mind because I really just wanted to know the name of the wine. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. That's a good tactic. <laughs> you call or you text and you go, hey, what was the name of that wine? Or what was the name of that romantic restaurant? And then they'll think that you're seeing someone else. So I did kind of a reverse breadcrumb unintentionally. Okay, so those are some of the signs of breadcrumbing. So why are they doing this? Why are they breadcrumbing you? Well, unfortunately, breadcrumbs from an ex usually have an ulterior motive. They want something from you. 
they already decided they don't want to give you what you want, which if we're talking about an ex, they don't want to get back together. However, that doesn't mean they don't enjoy certain aspects of you, talking to you, seeing what you're up to on social media, knowing they can contact you when they're bored, or they can reach out anytime and you'll respond. Or maybe they like the ego boost of knowing that you're still interested in them. Or they enjoy the control they have over you. They say jump and you say how high. Some other reasons might be to alleviate any guilt they have over hurting you. Or to soothe their anxiety. And this could be anxiety from difficulties they're having in their life. Pain from the breakup. Arguments with other people, etc., etc. Or maybe they're just trying to find out what you're up to since you're in no contact, you joined the no contact army, they haven't heard from you and their ego's hurt and they're like, what? And maybe they wanna see if you still care about them. Again, it's about the ego. Or they need validation. Maybe someone just rejected them or they're not feeling good about themselves so they wanna talk to someone they know will probably give them what they want, which at that time is validation. Now, of course, we have to mention narcissism. I know everyone's favorite word lately, narcissist. So again, I have a quote from verywellmind.com and they say, quote, serial breadcrumbers have been found to have personalities that are associated with elevated levels of narcissism. This can lead to them showing very little regard for the feelings of those around them and having no remorse to others' hurt feelings. This is true even if they, and sometimes they aren't, are aware they're manipulating people for temporary and shallow personal gains, end quote. And finally, and I've mentioned this before in another video, they may be using you to get over you. That's really diabolical, and they don't even realize they're doing it most of the time. So the breakup, the breakup is probably difficult for them also, and so they're able to get through it more easily if they know they can reach out to you anytime even with something small and you'll respond. However, it's totally unfair to you because it's giving you false hope and preventing you from moving on and finding someone better who does want to be with you. So what do we do about this breadcrumbing phenomenon? <laughs> well, the only way and the best way to respond, I believe, is to ignore it. Don't respond. That's why I've been saying for years to only respond to significant messages. And if you have to ask if it's significant, then it probably isn't. And if you're not sure and you do respond, then how they behave afterwards is going to tell you whether they're serious or they're just wasting your time and playing with you. Okay, and I have a comment here from someone who was being breadcrumbed. And she said, listen to Lucia, she's 100% correct. Thank you. You have to show your ex you don't need them in your life to make your life happy. If you're sad, cry in private. You're only human. And don't be responding to stupid breadcrumbs. Wait for something substantial. And when that happens, wait to respond. They're on your time now. Yeah, girl. My ex, my ex came humbled at my door asking for me back. Thank you, Lucia. You're welcome, girl. That's what happens when you ignore insignificant texts. So remember, breadcrumbs are not about reconciliation. They're about your ex getting something they need from you, but most likely they won't tell you what it is. The interaction will be positive for them, but negative for you once you realize they're not trying to get back together. And as a soldier in the no contact army, we do not settle for breadcrumbs. We want the whole loaf. If they want you back, they'll let you know. And if they don't, they'll breadcrumb you. Okay, so I want to hear from you now. Have you been breadcrumbed by your ex? What did they say? Tell us. And in the meantime, if you would like my help personally to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every single video. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, remember to rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.